Hello wild ones, I'm here for a little stealth camp in this lovely ditch. So this one's got to be stealthy. We've got a path just there and another one on that side as well. I think what I'm going to do is make a really low ridge line between these two trees here. I've got my tarp and I've got camo netting and we're going to try and disguise it. <sighs> right, first things first, we've got to clear some space down here. Okay, that feels better. Really helps with the bugs as well to get rid of the old dry leaves and stuff. Right, let's have a look what we've got to play with today. I've got my DD super light tarp and I'm gonna use that to sort of bridge over this ditch. To use with the tarp, I've got pegs, paracords, a few super light guy lines for the corners, a ridge line made up. And here I've got four panels of camo netting. I'm hoping that'll be enough to cover the tarp. I'm not sure, we'll have to give it a try. I've got some clips and stuff here to attach my camo netting to the top and my trusty DD magic carpet to use as a ground sheet. Let's get a ridge line up first. I'm gonna make it really, really low, probably about this height, and then we'll drape our tarp over and I think that'll fit in really nicely. Yeah, let's tie that off there. Let's stick the tarp over it, see how it looks. I don't know if this is a bit too high. Yeah, I think it is, right. Let's make it a bit lower. Okay, let's peg this in and see what it's looking like. That's really cool. I think it's going to be pretty stealthy. It's really low. Hello. I've popped pegs in all the side points. So that's really nice and secure now. That's pretty low, pretty low profile. Obviously we need to camouflage it yet, but I think that's going to be quite well hidden. Let's have a little play. So this is not a shelter that you can sit up in, of course. It just keeps the wind off me. And if it does rain, which I don't think it's going to, but if it does, I'll be nice and dry under here. This will be perfect to sleep under. Oh, wow. This is gonna be so nice tonight. Look at this view. Right, camel time. Oh my God. Look at that already. You know what? I love this stuff, it's so much fun. Well, I thought it had four panels of the camo net in. I appear to only have bought three, but I think that's gonna be fine. We can make do. So that's looking pretty nice already, just with a camo net in, but we have got like a bare patch over there where you can still see the top. So I'm gonna cover that with some leaves and just sort of haphazardly chuck some leaves all over it as well to really try and blend it in. That looks pretty nice. I've scattered some sticks and stuff over as well and along the edges sort of blend it in because as you guys have mentioned before, there aren't really straight lines in nature so you wanna cover those up but it's this little bit here at this bottom end, the shadow of it is creating quite a straight line so I'm gonna see if I can cover it up with something. So I've got some really light twiggy type sticks against this now. And I think if I chuck some leaves on that, it'll hold the leaves up in place and disguise that quite nicely. Look at that. Can't even see it on there really. Yeah, I think. It just looks like a little bump in the ground. I don't think I'm gonna get it much stealthier than that. So come and hide, hide with I'm real happy with that. I don't think anyone's gonna notice me down here. So let's get the bed ready. Today I've got my Thermarest foam mat. This isn't the comfiest, but it's not gonna pop on any thorns. And I think it will be all right because I've bought my luxurious pillow today. 
It's my Van Gogh Gwent in a pillowcase. So that is pure luxury. It's gonna be so nice. And the great thing about using this foam mat is that it doubles up as like a sit mat, sit and cook your dinner, it's great. I've got my Rab 500 sleeping bag today and my Outkit hunk of bivy bag to go over the top of it. Keep the mud off, keep the bugs off. Oh yeah. Oh, I think that'll be just fine. Oh, it's so cozy. I don't know what the time is actually. It's eight o'clock already, so I've got what, an hour and a half before it gets dark. It's the 1st of July today. I think it's gonna be about 10 degrees tonight, so not overly warm for summer. I've got my summer sleeping bag, so I'm hoping I'll be warm enough. I think I will be. I'm gonna have my bedtime drink and I'm gonna get to bed and have like the best sleep ever. I actually can't wait and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye! Good morning. There's a few people about this morning. <laughs> I nearly got busted by a dog. Because <coughs> he didn't see me and he was just moseying along and then he suddenly saw me in a ditch like a lunatic and I don't think he liked it and he just stood there barking at me for ages and I was like, ooh. So yeah, I had my eight hours blissful sleep that I wanted last night. Woke up at six and then Went back to sleep till about half eight, which is amazing. Feels so nice and well rested this morning. It's a really beautiful morning. I was a little bit chilly when I first went to bed on this mat. So it's about 10 degrees last night. And I think I prefer it to be around 14 to be using this mat actually, because it's quite thin. Right, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I'm gonna get out of here. So thank you so much for watching my little video. I hope you enjoyed this. I've had loads of fun playing with a camo. It's one of my favourite things to do at the moment, actually, trying to disguise into the surroundings. And yeah, I loved it. So I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye.